just a little disclaimer this setup you're going to see over the next several minutes is not going to replace your current setup or whatever you're using currently it is not going to replace the meta build it's not going to do any of that stuff it's a good build um but i created this setup more so for the fun aspect of it because it's very unique and you would never really see anybody use this tower as a dps tower so it's a unique build it does work but it does have its flaws which we're going to talk about um and sometimes the flaws are just going to outweigh the pros so if you're here looking for a game changing setup to use this is probably not going to be that setup that you're going to be looking for On the last update, there was a few things that kind of flew under the radar and not many people were talking about it. One of the things has been the shard changes. Um, no, I'm not talking about the Mystic. I'm talking about things like the Geyser Trap. The Geyser Trap had a shard or has a shard called Explosive Surprise. Explosive Surprise is a Geyser Trap only shard. Now, I'm not talking about the Oil Geyser. The Geyser Trap on the Huntress. And it's a unique to that particular defense. And before the update, what it did was, um, obviously when it was gilded, it, uh, it had a 58% chance at dealing 224% of the defense power as damage in an area. Now, after the update, as you clearly can see, they changed the word power to damage. Not only did they change the word, but they changed the math behind it. Because when it does the defense power, it's only hitting at C9, 10 out of 10 probably only about 1.52 mil damage when it's defense damage that basically turns the shard into an anti um and it's based off of your actual damage and it turns the shard into an anti that is valued at 2.24 so basically whatever your damage is when this shard procs it does 2.24 times that damage which is just insane it actually works kind of like a nuke uh, but as you heard in the intro, don't think this is game changing because it does have a flaw. Um, its biggest flaw is the fact that it only hits at a two second rate. So it only hits once every two seconds. So I have two of them down, so it kind of makes that a little bit easier. But when this thing does go off, it just nukes everything. And it is, it, it's pretty wild, but you're going to see that in just a second. Um, so yeah, so course we're going to be using explosive surprise on this uh you see i do have a shard slot missing here now this is because you can use freezing rain in this slot or you can use destruction in this slot destruction will give you more damage freezing rain will give you more cc freezing rain what it does is it gives you a percent chance when it's gilded 50 percent. i'm not sure what it is ungilded but it gives you a percent chance to freeze all enemies uh, within its you know area so that is pretty good because uh, the freeze combination doesn't have diminishing returns on it. It's pretty OP. Um, and freezing rain is one of the only things that actually works on headstrong lane. So you're able to freeze a headstrong lane with freezing rain. The only one you can't do that to is Frosty's in a headstrong lane because Frosty can't be frozen because, you know, they're already frozen. Doesn't make sense. Um, and then the third mod or shard slot will be mass destruction because obviously we're using this for DPS. So we're going to use mass destruction um, as far as the mods go it's just your typical uh, mod setup for a dps tower rate anti-melee controller whatever you're using for your dps setup uh whatever relic it is just you know throw it on here try it out uh you don't need anti-melee controller if you're using like controller and like diverse cc or whatever for whatever reason or whatever you're using um just throw that relic on wherever your dps relic is throw it on and you know try it out but this is just what I go with. I believe this is the best in slot for this, uh, for, well, for what we're using this for. Uh, but yeah, so that's the relic itself and the shards. So as far as the actual setup goes, we're going to use two geysers for the reason I said earlier with the defense rate being so low. You kind of want another one just to make sure everything is proccing. You have your petrify, uh, your boost star and your buff beam. Now, the Petrify, 
unlike the explosive traps you don't have to worry about the proton placement too much because there is no fall off on the geyser traps at least as far as i know there is no fall off on them um so as long as they're being petrified within the trigger radius of both of these geysers you will be solid um uh, but yeah so it's a 200 du setup so it's pretty nice as far as the damage output goes we can delete these guys and uh give you a good look at it so we're going to put down one geyser trap and you can see that oh let me back up so my pet isn't attacking you can see without any buffs or anything we're doing around 3.46 uh non-crit and around 5.5 as a crit now when that shard explosive surprise goes off you're gonna see this big purple thing here we're doing i think what's that seven mil non-crit yeah 7.7 .7 mil non-crit and 12 uh, 0.4 mil when you do crit so that is without any buffs now we're going to add in some buffs here like that add the protons i don't need a sec one but we're just doing it just to uh just to do it so now tier one with all the buffs we see the explosive surprise shard hitting for 19.6 mil non-crit and let's see if it crits here 42 mil when it crits and the normal hit we can see over here 8.7 mil non-crit and let's get a crit going i think it's a 19 mil non-crit it looks like or 18 mil, i think it's an 18 mil uh crit my bad i didn't mean non-crit but yeah so that's only at tier one uh, like i said it does have a two second actual rate and that's also without the antis being added in so the antis are going to add an extra 1.75 times the damage now this is a 30 du tower which means it scales like a 30 du tower so when we upgraded the tier 5 you can see these numbers get pretty crazy uh let's give it a second 58.9 mil non-crit and 126 mil crit on just that shard alone um as the regular damage goes we're looking at 26 mil non-crit and the crit for the regular hit is 56.27 mil obviously that's not counting anti and all that fun stuff um but yeah so you can see it's pretty powerful now that's just with one obviously when we had two down we could you know double all that and another thing that if you haven't noticed yet the range on it actually stops hang on let me uh let me delete these so you get a better view of that so the range of this is that blue right when the shard explosive surprise procs it does not go off of the range of the geyser itself it has its own range which seems to be around 750 to 800 range is the explosion radius of it around about that i'm not sure if that's completely accurate but you can see this dummy over here is getting hit by it and it's way outside of the range which the normal range for this is 520 for me so you can see it's way out there so that explosion radius is so big so like if i put down my buff beam or my boost star just to give you a good view on how far out it is so it looks like it's about 900 range maybe a little bit less so maybe 8 to 850 it seems like but if I were to put this boost R directly on top of this geyser trap, that would give you a good look at the exact range of it, which we could do this just to give you a good little view of it. So that's basically the explosion radius of the explosive surprise shard. Um, obviously, it's not completely accurate, but it is as close as we can get to an um, accurate look at it. But yeah, so we're just going to jump in game. We're going to show you how it, how it goes in the... Uh, and the actual floors so here we are on floor at 945 as always i feel like i play this map more than like any other map or i should say this uh this floor more than any other floor but uh yeah so we have a headstrong lane here which i of course opted to use uh freezing rain instead of destruction as freezing rain works beautifully on headstrong lanes so uh i have that there and on this lane we have a 124 mob count 
playing with like the little mini touch cards and javelin throwers all that fun stuff uh on this side i just put down blaze balloon so we're not really going to focus on this side but that's just to deal with uh with these guys so i mean i could put the geyser traps over here but i feel like the frosties it, it just won't work on the frosties that game might uh but definitely not not tier one so i didn't want to uh you know risk putting down the geysers here and then you know looking kind of silly like i said this is a fun build so naturally on the lane like that you'll put down um uh, blaze balloons anyway but yeah so other than that we have our little mall back here um uh, this guy if you all know uh you're going to find out very soon about the goddamn mall for me to be there too Wow, you cannot tell me that, that is not the funnest build you've ever seen. It's so unique. I love it. It is so good. And it's just fun watching everything just gets thrown up in the air. It's just frozen. It is awesome. I love it so much. Now, in wave two, I got a grip lock that came out of the headstrong lane in the middle lane. And it's crazy because the grip lock had 1.4 billion health and it just got smoked. And I wish I could have sat there and just like stared at it the whole time so you could see the health bar just drop off. But sadly, I had to deal with the flyers and I could not do that. But you can see the health bar, it just absolutely just gets annihilated just like that. And that is a headstrong lane. A headstrong lane. And I don't even have destruction on my geysers. I have freezer rain. That's it. If I had destruction, it would do a ton more damage. But yeah, so go ahead, try it out for yourself. See if you like it. Like I said, it's not going to change your life, but it is just so fun to use. I've been having a ton of fun lately with it, and I'm sure you will too.